Good morning. Paul here in New Zealand at Whangarei District War Memorial where on Anzac Day thousands will gather to remember their fallen. And our reading today comes from John 15. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you, from verse 9. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. And here in the War Memorial, we remember those men and women who laid down their lives for their families and friends in their home country. And we say, lest we forget. We don't want to forget all those young men and young women who sacrificed their lives, went into foreign lands and fought foreign battles so that we might live in freedom in our homelands. 24 members of my family either were either killed or served in wars that involved Australia and New Zealand. And uh, many of them never came home. And often their families never even mentioned their names. I met a woman at the Salvation Army Church yesterday here who's only just found out that our great uncle died in World War I. She never knew that he existed. And the same was for me. Only a few years back we discovered we had a great uncle, Claude Colin Bruce Souton. We never knew he existed until we started searching family records. They were just too scared to talk about him because the grief was so severe. But we remember them. We remember that they went into battle uh, fearful, some of them not well, some of them terrified, and had to climb out of the trenches and run towards those enemy weapons shooting at them. And on the day that my great uncle died, 3,000 other Australians and New Zealanders also died in the mud in France. So today, on, in, the, in the week of Anzac Day, we remember the fallen and we say, lest we forget. <laughs>